Denis Odo is one of the new names in the Black Star squad under Coach Otwado. His name is Ghanaian, but he was born in Belgium, so he's Belgian by birth. Actually, he was born to a Ghanaian father and a Belgian mother. So it means he was eligible to represent Belgium and Ghana. Denis Odoi was very promising growing up. So he made appearances for the Belgium U team, the under 20, the under 21, and even made one appearance for Belgium. But since that appearance, he has been overlooked for years. And he recently decided that no, enough is enough. In 2022, he switched nationality from Belgium to Ghana and has since made three appearances for the Black Stars. His first appearance, if you remember, was against the Super Eagles of Nigeria in the first leg of the World Cup playoffs. And his performance as a Black Stars has been very good. He has been commended by a lot of people because when he was called up initially, he was 34 years old. And some were even saying that at 34 years old, what can he even bring on board? What can he offer? But he came up and he proved his doubters wrong. He showed that yes, he's in a good shape and still have more to offer. However, the player has recently revealed or made some revelations concerning his relationship with his estranged father. Just as I said before, he was born to a Ghanaian dad and his mother was a Belgian. And according to Denis Odoi, as reported by Sadiq Adams, the sports Obama, his mom and his dad divorced when he was only 12 years old. So it was his mom who single-handedly raised him since he was 12. In fact, the divorce happened when he was away with Anderlecht team for a tournament. So after the tournament, he returned home and his father had left. Some years later, things started getting well for him. He started earning some real money during his professional career at Anderlecht. And when his dad got to know of it, when he got to know that his son was now a professional footballer, he was making big money. According to Odoi, all he asked whenever he linked up with him was, can I have money? And according to the experienced right back, it was something that really annoyed him. And he doesn't even speak to his father anymore. Some Ghanaians also share their opinion on Denis Odoi's story. Some think Denis Odoi is doing the right thing by neglecting his father who didn't take care of him since he was 12. Others also think it's needless for him to neglect his father. According to one guy, securing the right document in Europe, especially as an illegal migrant, is a real struggle. And his dad might have faced such problem when he was a child. And another guy commented that Ghanaians, especially men in Europe, are not responsible. Really? I don't know how true this is, but if it's really true, then it's, it's very bad. Actually, I think this ordeal is very familiar. I've heard it in several biographies of other players. Players like Alexis Sanchez, Ross Barkley, Memphis Depay, Lucas and Theo Hernandez of France. I mean, there are many people who suffered the same ordeal while growing up. And with Denis Odoi, he also didn't give up. He continued on to pursue his dreams of becoming a footballer. And he has played for a number of big teams. He played for Anderlecht, which is a big team in uh, Belgium. He currently plays for Club Bruges, another top team in Belgium. He also played for Fulham in the English Premier League. And one special thing about Denis Odoi, people don't, a lot of people don't know, is his versatility. He's very versatile. He can play as a left back, as a right back, and even as a centre back. And can also improvise as a defensive midfielder. And also his maturity and discipline in the, on the field of play is why many call him the professor. And he indeed looks like a professor when he has a spectacle on. And perhaps many of you might not also know this about him. He also pursued a teaching career while working his way to become a professional footballer. He studied PE, physical education at college. And according to him, he had good grades, meaning he's also intelligent. Actually, his inclusion in the Blasters team has given Otuado a lot of options at the right back position. And the Yadom was the first choice before he arrived. And I think he has given and he had him a good competition at the position at the moment. Otuado even have more options following the nationality switch of Tarek Lamti, who recently switched from England to Ghana. However, as to who becomes the first choice at the position, is something that remains the decision of the coach. I also hope Denis Odoi get more playing time like he had last season at his club so that he will get him fit for the World Cup. Last season, he played a very pivotal role for Club Bruges as they went on to become Belgian champions in the Belgian league. He made 36 appearances, he scored twice and made 5 assists, which clearly shows he still has more to offer despite his age. Well, on this note, don't forget to subscribe. Please hit the like button as well. 
Thank you for watching.